Where's Cat? They said Cat was arrested, but they didn't say where exactly. So I wonder where they could be keeping Cat. <sighs> oh, I gotta find him. I gotta find him or I'm gonna do some things I will regret. <laughs> I haven't gotten any sleep. This is... Whew. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, where are you? Uh, if he doesn't show up soon, if he doesn't get released soon... Oh, man. Radio is gonna have such a hard time. He's gonna have such a hard time. Where's radio? Where are you, radio? Where are you at? I don't have to worry about that place anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if they blew it up. Ah, uh, sounds like something they would do. If I can't find radio, then I'll just have to have radio come out to me. That's it. <laughs> I will go after their beloved husband. <laughs> they'll, they'll have to let him out then, right? They'll have to let Cat out then, right? <laughs> I wonder where Necro could be. Ha 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 ha. Is there somebody over there? I wonder. Hello, who's there? Hello? I saw somebody here. Hello? Hello? Where are you? Oh. Oh, sorry, you walked oh. right past me. I was under one of the trees. Hi. You're tiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It Hi. It kind of came that way. <laughs> Hi. You are not the person I was looking for, but I guess you'll have to do. Um. Are you looking for someone? Do you need some help? I, I could help you if you wanted. Yeah, well, first of all, what uh, what is this place? Oh, this is a local garden for the town. Um, radio's been needing honey and bee and honey, uh, honey and wax, so I thought I'd make this for them, so it's one less thing on their list. I know Mercy and Radio are both very busy. Hmm. Mind showing me around a bit? Yeah, I... Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you. I, I personally love making things like this, and it was no harm. We have a couple of deer running around as well, some ponds, a couple of benches around, well, picnic tables around, and seating areas too. I'm excited to see how it's used. Hmm. You know. For the city, it is quite lovely. Thank you. Would be a I shame have if, a little. You know, if something shame? bad happened to it. I don't imagine mm -hmm. anything bad would happen to it. I mean, it's a garden. What would people want to do with that? <laughs> True. <sighs> anyway, um. Oh, I'm sorry. I around. never got your name. Oh. Huh? I mean, yes, but I, I mean this in the nicest way possible. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> oh, apologies for not introducing myself. Uh, my name is Lizzie. Oh, that sounds familiar. Uh, well, anyways, you can call me. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Nice to meet you, Allie. Nice to meet you as well. Apologies for not introducing myself on the first meeting. You know, where are my manners? No worries. I completely get it. Anyway, uh, this is quite a lovely garden. Yeah, you should be proud. Oh, thank you. I kind of am. I can't wait for radio to see it. I left them a letter, but we'll see when they can check on it. Hmm. Why don't we? Why don't we go on a little walk, you and I? You know, around the city. You know, I haven't been really been here much uh, in a while, so be nice to you check out the sites with a friend. I could happily show you. I've been helping build a lot of the things around here as well. Interesting. And also helping with all the paperwork for it. Ugh. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh? Why is that? Oh, you know, I, uh, I'm very curious about how all the people and stuff, you know, live their lives here. You know, like, following all these rules and... There's not that many. They're only made for people's safety. I mean, uh, I've been through some things that would have probably been worse without the rules. Hmm. Oh. Which, which one of these houses could be that close? Pardon? Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, let's, let's continue. Um, okay. But I, I could have him give you a tour around the town. That's usually... Nexus is draw, but he's been away for a bit. Hmm. It's fine. I'll, uh, I'll find my own way around. Are you sure? Oh. I don't mind helping you. I'm sure. I'm really just looking for a certain person in particular. Oh, who are you looking for? If you're looking um, for radio, I know where they usually are at. I mean, we are friends, after all. <laughs> Oh, you are! Yeah, I'd say Radio and I are some of the closest friends. Why do you say? <laughs> Alright, this is great! This is... <laughs> why, don't, why don't we go pay them a visit then? Say hi. Um, sure, but we should make sure they're not busy. Uh, and if they're sleeping, we're leaving them alone, please. They haven't been sleeping recently. Mm, of course, of course. Sleep is very important. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, you know, all that stress could crack open. Yeah, you look like you might need some sleep. If you want, I could get you some tea. I'm fine, I'm fine. Appreciate it, though. Are you sure, Are you sure dear? I'm at, we can get you somewhere to just relax and get some sleep. I want you to take care of yourself. I'm fine, I don't have time for sleep right now. You have to make time. It's not healthy to do that, dear. I will. In time. Okay. Please take care of yourselves. Let's see if radio is home. Knock oh, knock. Radio? Are you here? Oh, I guess they're not. I'm sorry. Don't disappoint me, smiley face. That's uh that sounds awfully uh Suspicious, don't you think? It might be a note for themselves. The radio pulls himself up to a very high thing. Oh, well. Do you know when radio will be back? Um, you did say that they're probably busy. I mean, most likely they're doing work around the town. Or they might be with their husband. Necro's a sweetheart. Oh, Necro, Necro. You know, I was wondering too, you know, <laughs> where Necro could be. Why you see, do you I ask? Have, you see, I have business to do with, I guess you could say both of them. Oh? I mean, I could deliver a message if you want to raid you. Uh, uh. To our dear city leader, I Necro would be a little bit harder. Um, 
solely because they sleep so much. <laughs> All right. Just one last thing, though. Yeah. Where uh, is Radio Keeping Cat? I can't tell you that. I. Why don't we put that knife away, dear? We don't need that out. I appreciate your hospitality, really I do, but I'm here for a certain kind of business. One that, unfortunately, you can't help. Actually, wait a minute. We are in Radio's office. Why don't you leave them a little message for me? I... Wouldn't that be nice? Considering how you're acting, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Allie, is it? Friend That's of Radio? <laughs> Tell me, why would you be friends with such a dictator like Radio? They're not a dictator. They're a good leader and they take care of us. Really? Explain what they're probably doing to Cat. Reforming. That is what's going on. I'm- I get to be there. I'm in charge of making sure people are taken care of. Taken care of? Nobody's really taken care of. Yes, By they are. By taken care of, you mean doing something bad to him? Radio did say he <laughs> would be reformed, whatever that means. Yes, he's being reformed. He's going to be a good citizen. He's going to be well with the people here. He's going to be a good person. He was breaking laws. That's not okay. He wasn't a citizen here. And he doesn't have to be. But he does have to not break in, trespass, stalk, harass go through confidential documents, you realize all of those were really serious crimes. That is no excuse to hurt him. <laughs> we aren't we can make hurting this difficult, him. or we can make this easy. I want you to tell me actually, two things. Two things. First of all, where does Necro live? I don't think I want to tell you of how you're acting. They don't deserve uh, this. <laughs> oh, does that hurt? I can probably imagine that's how Cat's feeling right now. I saw a cat earlier. They're tired and they're resting. They are fine. <laughs> Ah, have you ever- tell me, have you ever lost a sibling before? Do you know how the pain feels of losing all your family? Yes, I do. <laughs> then you should know how I feel right now. I grew up in such a powerful kingdom, you know? Very much similar to this city. And you know what they did? They split my what? family apart. Sent away all my siblings. Only one came back alive. And even then, they were forced out again. I lost all my siblings, and the one time I met somebody who finally felt like family, they were taken away. Cat was taken away. They're gonna come back. They just need to be reformed. They're a danger to society. And and all of you, all of you, you know, friends with radio in this office, you know, don't disappoint me. I <laughs> kind of. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is just. No. Please stop. Please. This is just to send a message. This will continue as long as Cat's still locked up. If I can't get to radio, then I'll just have to get to their friends. 
So tell me, where can I find her precious husband? I don't want you hurting Necro. I won't. I won't. I'll just give a... Help show radio exactly how everybody feels. Radio knows how people feel. They hear it, and they're trying to be a good leader, and they're doing such a wonderful job. That's not the way I see it. I can help I can help you see it the way I do. You can see how amazing radio is. I've seen firsthand. I'm around radio constantly. I know who they are and what they're doing. Please. We can we can move past what's going on right now. We can help each other, it's fine. This is useless. We can do this all day, or at least until radio comes back. After I, all, I mean, this is their office. I mean, yes, but they can be out for days at a time doing work around the city. Or you mean work at the prison? Sometimes, yes. <sighs> If you won't give me the answers, then I'll just have to get them from somebody else. Maybe Necro oh. could tell me where the prison is. I can't do that, and Necro won't either. Necro doesn't even know where Cat's being held right now. <laughs> well, radio does. And if Radio sees all her precious friends being hurt, Maybe she'll finally comply. Please, Lizzie, right? You don't have to do this. You can oh! <sighs> Aw, what? Did that hurt? Lizzie, please, please, we don't have to do this. We can talk. We can find something out. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, this is much better than sleeping, you know? Revenge. Vengeance. Something I should have done a long time ago when I lost my sister and my brothers. Dear, I watched dear, them get please. taken away, and I watched Cat get taken away. I'm never gonna let that happen again. Oh dear, listen, please. You're tired. You've obviously not been taking care of yourself. Let's get you some rest. We can get you some food, something to drink. And we can talk about this. You're not in the right state of mind. I'm in the perfect state of mind. All I want is getting my friend back and nobody is complying. I'm gonna have to go to drastic no. measures. Yes, because you come at me with a knife. That's definitely how you get someone to comply. No, that's not at all how you do that. Eventually, somebody breaks. You know? That's what always happens. Or at least that's what I was taught growing up. You were taught wrong, dear. I, I'm sorry for what you went through, but this isn't how it should be. You went through something horrible, and I understand the pain of losing someone you love. I understand the pain of losing a family member. I, it hurts, and it aches, and then you find someone, and it feels wonderful to find someone. And you will get that someone back, I promise. Please. <sighs> you are not giving me any information. All right. I'll get my information from somebody else, and if they don't give me that, then I'll go to somebody else. I will go to each and every person radio is close to, to get answers. No one's gonna but rat out radio, we all care for them because they are an amazing person. No, they're not. 
they are not. <sighs> this is, this is, oof. Why don't you scamper off to radio and tell them what happened here today? Tell them that this will only continue if they don't release Cat. Trust me, radio will hear about this. It won't end how you want. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I know how badly I'm probably going to die. But <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll come back. I always come back. And I'm tired of this city. And I will be one of the people to help burn it to the ground. And I'll come back from the ashes. Why don't you be a deer and hand radio this message for me, please? Okay. Considering they haven't come back. <laughs> I should be going to sleep. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Catch you later, Allie. This is great! <laughs>